What drew me to SVP were actually the people. Um, I went to college with quite a few of the engineers that worked in, um, in the various departments and they all had great things to say about the company. And I just started looking into the company and found out that they did a lot more stuff that you know people don't think about on a day-to-day -day basis and you know keeping the lights on for a large part of the country. On a day-to-day -day basis, I perform various engineering analysis of the system intact and um, taking some outages to see how the system will react. I might do calculations on reserve requirements or pretty much anything and everything that comes up in operations engineering. I've looked at it or studied it or tried to figure out what's going on. It's fun. It's challenging. Um, You'd think like a normal office job would be the same old, same old, but day in, day out, it's different. There's different things to study, different items that I need to pay attention to. So it's, it breaks it up and it's a fun environment to work in. The culture is, is awesome. Like I said, everybody is just so open to you coming in asking questions and you know if they don't know the answer then you can they'll kind of point you to somebody else who can answer. I'll just say it, SVP is one of the most unique companies I've seen in my lifetime. Um, there's not many places where you can walk in um, and if you have a, a, a legitimate concern you can walk into the CEO or the COO's office and chat with them about that and they actually will stop what they're doing, if they have time, you know, if, if they aren't pressing matters, and they can, they, they care and they listen. There are a lot of pieces that go into your lights coming on. So um, you get an understanding of all of the engineering knowledge you need in school, but how everything works together um, has been very eye-opening since I've been here. You kind of take for granted when you turn on a light switch that it just comes on. It's just, you learn about electron flow and electricity in school, but it, it doesn't tangibly hit you until you realize that there's a market that, that electric companies buy and sell power on, that there are rules and regulations for them to abide by to make sure that you actually do have that power. So, I just got back from a week in Salt Lake City where they sent me to do training on a software I'm going to use. Uh, I went last year out for another training out of state. They're so good about continuing education, continuing to make you grow. Um, I know they have the program where they tuition reimbursement. They have, they just help you in any way that they can. They pay for, they paid for my books for when I took my FE, Fundamentals of the Engineering Exam. Um, and they'll pay for it when I become a prof professional engineer. Um, they, they highly encourage me to join all kinds of different societies related to electrical engineering and the, uh, the electric grid itself, just to not only to have people on them that work at SPP, but just to help further us along too. I learn something new every day, and I feel like I've grown leaps and bounds ever since I started just over a year ago. And I love that what I do, even though some people, you know, just walking around may not have any clue what SPP does, I love knowing that our work is going towards keeping the lights on today and in the future for our members. Music